So I'm just throwing this on camera. I might wonder what I'm actually doing off camera. What do I do in my spare time? Well, we're just taking this little guy around the village. Rocky. So yes. Quick half hour walk for Rocky. Back. Changed. Rocky's a little bit scared of the horses in front of us. Look. He's scared to go forward. Um. Oh. Look, he's scared. Come on. Come on. You just see some of the. I don't know whether you can see across the water there. We've just been in for a quick dip. But yes. This is village life in Mirpur. I know some of you will be wondering, this is a wedding video coming up. So yeah, we're just walking down the village here, taking the dog a little walk, and we've just been presented with some Fanta and some Sprite. So, so yeah, we're just sitting here, one of the locals getting food, and he was telling us that he had to rebuild his house in the earthquake, his full house got destroyed. And he's had to build a new one right here. Nice little view in front of the river here. But yeah, the earthquake came and he had to rebuild. But as always, we're walking about and people are offering us juice and water and everything else. Lovely place here, honestly. Honestly, the people are so friendly here. I can't, I can't describe it. The, the videos probably don't do it justice, but everybody is so kind and friendly. Very good afternoon guys, and it's my last day here with Wasim, and we're just getting ready to go to a final event, a final wedding event, the Walima, I think it's called, where you're going to have some food, it's like the groom's thank you to everybody, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but this is the last day here, uh, I'll be back, I'll be going to Coatley and stuff, but it's the last day in this house, last day seeing the monkey, he's still not a big fan of me right enough. Nope. So yeah, what a, what a time I've had here, absolutely phenomenal. Hospitality has been off the scale. I've actually got a little clip um, of when we arrived here. Uh, the drummer and stuff, I don't think you've seen that yet, so I'll play that now for you and let you see the arrival we had. So we just got to the village and I'm playing the last big drum. I came into this house, it's so strange, I know you can't see me, but look, look who's on the TV. I just walked in this house and look at the guy. Do you recognise that guy? Salam. Nice to meet you, Salam. What a place this is. Dad's controlling the drone. How are you? Nice to meet you. On YouTube, all the time. Thank you. So we've got the drone here. What a place this is! <laughs> Look, again, I don't know. A lot of people don't agree with this, but there's a pet monkey here, and it's, it's absolutely tiny. Oh. <laughs> yes, brother. Nice little room for tonight. The man's the man's putting us up. Thank you again, brother. I do appreciate it. Yes, bro. Yeah. 
This is officially the biggest, the biggest bathroom I've ever, I've ever seen. I still got it. I still got to finish it up. It's the size, it's the size of a bedroom. Yeah, I still got to finish it up. <laughs> the size of that bathroom. Let's see. Again, it's so strange seeing me on, seeing me on the TV. <laughs> Wow. Oh, and I can hear the mosque. They don't do small houses here. Seems like everybody um, who's lived in Britain or who's got ties to Britain seem to have a rather large house. They like to do things big here. And again, love listening to the mosque. Hopefully you can pick that up. So this is where we're spending the night, Alex, what do you think? I can't get enough of the village life. I love seeing like the little cows and the goats eating and drinking. Look at the, the, dro the drone's out for us. Yes, mate, very nice. Very nice indeed. That's my mum's mum's mango tree. She passed it. My mum's mum passed it when she was five. She planted that mango tree ah. before she went. So that's it. Too hot, I'm going back in. So, yes, this is the palace that we've been staying at recently, but we need to go. Let's get in the car. And we are out of the car and we're here for the final day of the wedding. There's Smiley over there, always smiling, looking great. Still going? Still going. Hey, big shout out to Rye by Annalisa, Bristol. There we go. Big shout out. Hello, brother. Oh. Yes, this place is looking nice. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Yes. Another event here. They all look very nice. All, all three days, all the all the buildings and stuff have looked lovely. Even the house in the village, the way they done it, all oh, it looked it looked fantastic. Closer. Wow, this place is bigger than I thought. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Look at everybody staring at the. The Gora. Hi, everybody's staring today. Yes, yeah, a big place here. Not sure how you can hear me with that air conditioning unit. Mutton. Yeah. Got some rice, some mutton and some, some bread as well. I thought that was it, but there's more food just came as well. So there's some nice chicken here, and some kebabs. I've been like kings for the last three days. Just keep bringing more food. Join your food, Alex. Nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. <laughs> So yes, we'll make a quick escape, but that food was absolutely fantastic. Look at all the food here. Ash stuff in his face. So he's got another five weeks here, so he has. Lucky him. So like I say, we're leaving here today and we're going to Islamabad for a few days. And then we're coming back, so we're going to hit the road now, so I'll see you in a second, guys. And we're outside, so yeah, that was fantastic. The food was immense, as usual. We've ate like kings the last few days. We're just about to leave here, but just met some people who watch your videos, so I do appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Thank you, but yeah, it's a nice place, lovely yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're looking, looking dapper, looking very yeah. smart. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so content. Yeah. Yes. How are you finding, how are you finding me? 
I love love Pakistan honestly. It keeps telling people the, the hospitality and the people are amazing. And we're back in the car, so we're just heading back to the house, gonna grab the bags and get to Islamabad. But yeah, busy little spot here. set over there, it looks beautiful. Let's try to get a good shot for you, it's proven difficult. Yeah, busy little spot here. Let's try to get back over the bridge. This one, fancy dress. So yes, we're back at the house, we're just ready to go in. I thought I'd just show you the monkey. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera up there, he's just sitting at the corner, looking down. Can you see him? So yes, this is the driver that's been driving me about for the last the last two weeks. Got his car details here, so if anybody's coming to Islamabad or anywhere, then they can certainly hit him up. Great guy, great prices as well. Superb. Yeah, very friendly. Speaks very good English as well, so anywhere we wanted to go, wasn't a problem at all, so yes, if you're ever, ever in Islamabad, that's the details there. I can also put them on in the description of the video. So if you want to rent a car, go anywhere, give this number a call. And like I said, the, the level of English is perfect, so um, don't worry about any language barriers. The, the English is absolutely perfect. I'm just saying you're a very nice man. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm just saying if anybody wants to rent a car or anything, they can get in touch. Thank you so much. Yep, definitely. So yes, this is the man, if you need a car, that's the man you need to speak to. And I'll put his details on the description of the video also. And finally we're in Islamabad after a long day, but we're here. Um, I've not seen the room yet, but Alex has booked it online, so this one's down to Alex again. He's going to get his peas kicked if it's as bad as the one in a man, but we're about to find out. We're just dealing with checking the visas and stuff like that, but I think Alex has actually pulled one out of the bag here. I had a quick look and it looks good. Um, I'll take you up and I'll show you in a second. And this is the room. Sorry, guy. I'm in the way here. Guy's okay, staring. YouTuber. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, for YouTube. Oh. YouTube, yeah. Thank you. So I have the Stone Cold Steve Austin room, 316. Let's have a quick look at Alex's. Welcome in, welcome in. How much was this, Alex? Uh, 20 US a night. 20 US dollars a night. This is what it gets you here in Islamabad. Everything you need. Although have you even left a comb out for you, Alex? We need to go get some toilet paper. Hmm? We need to get toilet paper. Because I'm about to explode this toilet. And cut. <laughs> Yes, this is what I've got. Turn that fan off. Because it'll make the video sound rubbish. But yes, 20 US dollars a night. Not the worst, definitely not the worst. Did I disappoint? Always disappoint. So yes. We are now in Islamabad for a few days. This guy arrived here two weeks ago. And his case, one of his cases is still in Islamabad airport. That's why we're back to try and sort it out. Early night tonight, hopefully sort the case out tomorrow at the airport and then we'll get cracking. So make sure you subscribe guys and I'll catch you on the next one.